We're James and Kelly with two tickets around the world. In our last video, we explored Zhangya for our 11th day on the Silk Road. Today, we are exploring the Great Wall in Jiayikwang. Like and subscribe! We have just made it to the Jiayikwang Fortress. The tickets are 110 kwai a piece, and it includes the fortress that we're about to enter and two additional parts of the Great Wall. It was pretty easy to get a ticket actually. They didn't need a green code nor our passport, which is kind of a nice thing because we always have to show it. And it's a little chilly out today, so if you do come in October, bring a jacket. At the ticket entrance, not where you buy your ticket, but where you have to show your ticket to get in, they do require you to bring your passport so they can write down your information. So, bring your passport. Jiayiguang Pass was used as one of the main passageways through the Silk Road. There are two main gates, one on the east and one on the west side. Inside the pass is a fortress that consists of two parts, the inner city and the outer city. Inside the inner city, there are two buildings, the general office and the Wensheng Hall. This is where the people protecting the fortress would live. We are now standing in the Jiayiguang Fortress. Inside the fortress, there is a residential hall that was uh, home to one of the generals that lived here. The rest is an open courtyard, and you are able to go up and walk along the uh, fortress wall. We have made it onto the Great Wall here in Jiayiguang. There are two parts you can go to, and we are going to walk behind you. But as you can see, this goes all the way up through the mountains. To get to this part of the wall, you are able to get a personal driver for the day, or you can just pay to get a taxi. There are plenty of taxis leaving the fortress, cost us about 18 kwai to get to this part of the wall. The Jaigo Wall is also called the Overhanging Great Wall. The wall was built so that enemies traveling from west to east into China wouldn't be able to see the fortress. Therefore, they would be surprised when they would approach the wall. Got our picture taken again. We are very beautiful humans. At the top of the mountain, yeah. or at the top of the wall, we're looking out and we can see like hiking paths that go through the rest of these mountains. So as we came down, there were a lot of locks along the railing. It's gonna find love. So we decided to buy one as we left one in Rome. We decided to leave one here in China. So we just finished this part of the wall and sadly we do not have time to uh, go to the next part. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to our hotel where our luggage is and then head to the train station to go to our next place. Our train is delayed by seven minutes now. Just waiting to go to Dunhuang. Jump on it. Oh my god. Is that good? 
Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's a good bed. <laughs>